SKU 93762. No way have I got the room to put that together in the shop. So, got out here in the driveway and we'll see how it goes. It's very heavy, it's 63 kilos. So I bought this for $200 at Harbor Freight. I bought it right before I got COVID, so it's been sitting around for at least a year. One of the reasons I bought this is it has a one horsepower motor. I don't have a need to use this like every day, so I figured it's also possible I could use that motor on another tool. It's cast iron and their castings are pretty rough and they paint them to make them look a little better, but it doesn't make them look a lot better. Okay, so this came in the box. It was in one of the corners outside the styrofoam. And it says this metal sheet is not part of the horizontal vertical metal cutting bandsaw. It has to be part of the shipping? I don't know. And it's not that difficult to put vertical. Kind of got a spring right here that helps. Uh, I was surprised how easy it actually was. If you go vertical, you have a throat plate you can put on here. So it's not real easily convertible from vertical to horizontal, but it is convertible. Just not easily. It has a pin to keep it uh, from coming up unexpectedly. That means this won't come up. Remove the pin. And then it has a spring counterbalance. And you can adjust the tension on it. You don't want to get it too tight while it's up because it stretches out when it's down. And because of that, it's fairly easy to get up and down. I would expect it to fall over quickly, but it doesn't because of that spring. Now, it does fall over quickly going up. And there's a height adjustment right here. It's a, simply a bolt that you screw in and out to change the tilt. This looks pretty good to me right now. So I'm going to go with that until I find out different. Hey guys, so this is the part I wasn't looking forward to, but it turns out it's really not that bad. It's putting this cover on. It covers the belt for safety. I recommend you put it on, but you don't have to. Okay, so take the belt off. Brace the belt so it doesn't slam down. I don't think it would break anything, but it's still not good. So the first thing we got to do is get these pulleys off. Now, they have set screws in them, and you're not going to be able to see this. The set screw is down in the pulley, so loosen that. The motor uses a four millimeter, and there is a keyway and a key. Keep track of the key. So let's see what this side has. It also uses a four millimeter. If you lose the set screws, you're gonna to have to go find new ones. I bought two screwdrivers to get the one that fits the screw. So just untighten these. Don't lose the washers, you want those. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna put it. Okay, so this has a support that goes in under this screw. Now, you don't want to try to take the screw out without holding the nut. If not, that whole hinge piece will come off. Not a problem to take it off, it's just I don't really want to do that. So take the screw off only. It has a lock washer on it. You probably don't want to lose that. It's actually a good design feature right there, I think. So now that I got that off, I've got to hold the motor up, get this on temporarily. I just want to put something in to hold it. So I just put that screw in, that'll hold the cage on. I want to put this screw on, put on the lock washer, put on the washer, load it on the end of your screwdriver. There we 
go. So that'll make this screw a little easier to put on. I would have thought most things that go on this saw would have had a lock washer because it does have a little bit of vibration. Make sure the lid goes closed. If it won't go closed, bend this in a little. If it doesn't hold, bend it out a little. Okay, so find the pulley with the key cut into it. There we go. Now you do want to put this on spaced out just a tiny bit so it doesn't rip the cage. So now that I have that, I will tighten up the set screw. Now these are a funny thing. With these, with these Allen keys, this has the rounded end so you go at an angle. I don't want to use that to do the final tightening. That's a good way to strip out set screw. This one is, of course, harder to get on, but much safer for your set screw. Once I've got the flat spot up, I'll put this on and I'll make sure that I get the set screw over that flat spot. There we go. And you know you have it on upside down if the shaft isn't long enough. Using this type of a wrench is hard on this pulley if you don't have the flat spot turned up. The regular Allen key might not have that problem. So I'll tighten that and then I'll come back with the non-rounded end. Well, the non-rounded end will not go down all the way because it's not long enough to clear that pulley. So I'll have to be happy with tightening it with the rounded end. And the lid of this is the pulley arrangement to get specific speeds. Okay, so now we can put the belt back on. I'm just going to put it on the lowest speed apparently. You always want to go slow on a metal cutting bandsaw. You don't want to heat up the blade. There we go. So there we go. That's the final step for putting it together. You have to lift it up to engage the wheel, but if you have to go over a small step, which there's a step about this tall going into my garage. Uh, that doesn't work well. Okay, so let's make our first cut. It's only got a six foot cord, so I'm gonna need an extension cord. But that's not that unusual. So is it on? Looks pretty good. I'm not gonna use cutting oil. I normally don't. I'm building a CNC machine. This will be the x-axis and this will be the y. The y will be strapped to a table so it can be smaller, but the x is what's going to keep it rigid. I didn't buy this to cut conduit, but if I got it, I might as well use it. So I'm going to tighten this up. This is my first cut and I didn't do any test cuts. I don't know where exactly it's going to cut. So I'm going to lay the blade down. Line this up. There we go. When I was storing it, I set this. I want to remove that for right now. If I don't remove this, I can't get it to go down below the surface of that. So it looks to me like the only time it's going to be on is when it's in storage. So let's make our first cut. It wasn't as good a cut as I thought it would be. but it was more my cutting style. I bought the saw blade down on the conduit and just let the weight of the saw put it through, but that jammed it, and that also made it go crooked because there was so much weight on the blade, it dipped sideways. So you don't want to do that. 
So let's try number two. Let's go by the edge of that tape. I'll line it up again because there's really no marker that I can go by. I got that wrong. Loosen that up a little more. There we go. I'll tighten that down, make sure I'm still aligned. Cut number two, and I'll actually grab this side this time. Okay, so that's a much better cut. It still needs a little bit of trimming. Let's try this again. Let the saw do the work, not the weight of the saw. Cutting oil would probably make that sound a lot less frightening. I still need to deburr that. The saw left some burrs on it as it cut. If I had more teeth on this blade, it might have been a cleaner cut. When I was cutting that last one, it turned itself off. I'll show you what does that. This is just a scrap piece of box metal. So as I put this over, there's a clip right here that I can adjust. And the way it's adjusted, sometimes you can't get all the way through it. So what happens is it comes down and it hits that and turns it off. Now, I want to try to get this so it takes the weight of the saw. The thing I like the most is the counterbalance of the motor. Helps you manage that weight where it's placed. Where the motor is placed lets you handle that weight a lot easier. It could have a bigger motor, but if you go much bigger than that, you're going to need a 220 outlet. So I'm very happy with this. I can cut anything. I might have to be a little more patient in some cases, but I can cut pretty much anything that'll fit in that four by six box. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.